Welcome back guys, this is Joe here, as normal, and today I'm doing a video request for somebody asked in my comments, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he was asking about just adding plugins and uh, changing settings, so turning off animal spawning and mob spawning and stuff like that. So first of all, we're going to add a plugin, so I'm currently just uh, opening another page from, on, from another screen. I'd recommend to go to get your plugins to spigot, mc.org, link in the description, resources. Then you can look for whatever you want. There's loads. Uh, you know, there's Bungie um, or proxy plugins. That's a Bungie cord. Then there's the bucket plugins. But then there's just uh, the normal standard. But what I'm going to look up, I'm going to look up a YouTube plugin. So this is like uh, slash live stream. So just give me a second. Let me. Let me just retype it in at the front. So yeah, this person has got a nice simple plugin, very lightweight. And uh, yeah, I've already downloaded it because this is my second time trying to record it, but never mind. Here it is. So copy, or you can drag it in there, pop straight in. And now it won't come with that brackets one, it will just come like that, or a different version if it's updated. So uh, now we can uh, just start the server. And let it load up. Right in, now it's loaded up so we can stop it. Nice and simple. And now the plugin is installed. So once you know the plugins are installed, it should come up for YouTube as a jar file. Then make a folder with a config inside. Not all plugins make a config folder. Uh, some, for some reason, they just don't do it, but. It depends how it's been coded, so um, yeah, so hopefully that has not confused you a lot. And now we're going to move on to the server.properties folder. Now in here, this is where you set your IP, or set your port slash IP, uh, turn off animal spawning, so we're going to turn off animal spawning, nice and simple. Make sure I got the right way around, yes, so, and we're going to enable command block. You can do loads of stuff in here. Let's get a U in there. So true. Um, you can set you know the player limit so we can have you know a couple of thousand uh, view distance. Uh, that's how much chunks you can see on the server. So each one you put this up, this is going to put more strain on your server. Server name. So we're just going to call it Hello. Nice and simple. And uh, yeah. So let's go on to the server IP slash ports now here this is where it gets a little bit complicated I would not recommend to even put IP in there just leave it blank it will just make stuff confusing especially if you're doing a home server your computer slash machine has got a dedicated IP set to it so if you go and find that in the command prompt by um, just you know going uh, C CDM then typing IP con Fig just like that, but I'm not going to do it. It's nice and simple. You'll see your IP and everything, or you can go to uh, just go to Google My IP and it will tell it you. So leave it blank. That's what I recommend. The one you can change is your port. So this is the standard Minecraft port. Nice and simple. Works all the time. But just remember, you have to port forward if you're running on your home computer. So yeah, I could always change this to um, change this to a nine. Eight, but every time you change a number to sync out, you have to report forward it. So just remember that. And uh, that's it. So um, hopefully you can understand this and it's been good. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, uh, go and follow us on Twitter and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.